Got seven, got eight, got nine, Audrey. Whew. What's up, guys? So you tired of feeling like you have to do a crazy amount of push-ups to finally feel that chest contract to help you build gains? Well, then you're not alone. So for this video, I put together different techniques and push-up variations to help you build a nice, solid chest without having to go to the gym. So without further ado, welcome to the Obby Effect. Like that? Yeah? Good! Damn! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Reggie B. So for a lot of us, gyms are still closed. And you're probably still looking for different exercises without having to go to the gym. A great way of building a nice, solid chest is doing push-ups. But the mistake is, for a lot of people who are advanced that are able to hit 50, 70, 100 reps, if you're able to hit that high, which means it's not challenging. Every exercise should be challenging and helping you push to the next level. So that's exactly what we're gonna do for this exercise. We're gonna focus on nothing but push-ups, and for every single exercise, we're gonna use different tips to help put that overload tension to help build strength, power, and definition at the same exact time. And you can do this entire routine in the comfortability of your home. So guys, let's just jump right into this video. So you guys ready? Let's get it. Tip number one, resistant band push-ups. So for those who are advanced and able to do a numerous amount of push-ups, using resistant band is gonna help increase the intensity, helping you build muscle and power at the same exact time. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put the resistant band around you, and then you're gonna go down to the ground, which then is gonna force you to have that mind-muscle connection to pick yourself up from the floor, which is gonna look like this. Go all the way down. We're gonna do one more. So using the resistance band is gonna help you contract that muscle to help you build a nice solid chest. Tip number two. The perfect push-up. So this is another great variation of helping you build a nice overall size chest. So when you're using this equipment, the best part is it's able to go 360. So which then is gonna help you contract, focusing on that nice separation of the inner chest. So what I want you to do, you're gonna place it shoulder width, go into a normal push-up, you're gonna go all the way down, and on your way up, you're gonna pronate your wrist. So you're turning your wrist inward. By doing that, you're forcing your chest to contract. You're gonna feel a lot of tension on that inner chest, which is gonna give you that nice separation of both pecs, which is gonna look like this. Do two more, all the way down, on the way up, squeeze, one more, Squeeze. What I want you to focus when doing this exercise, keep a nice slow tempo and have that mind-muscle connection on every single rep, which is gonna force the blood to flow into that muscle to help it expand. Tip number three, the incline negative. So incorporating both of these movements in one is gonna help take your next push-up workout to the next level. So what I want you to do, you're gonna use a chair or a couch, put your feet up on, go on normal push-up, and when you go down, you want you to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Up, one, two, three, four, five. Down, one, two, three, four, five. Up, one, two, three, four, five. The whole purpose of this movement is keeping that time under tension, focusing on the concentric and eccentric movement, which is helping your muscle expand, putting on size, and giving you a nice, full-looking chest. So for every single rep that you do, focus on that five-second rep down and that five-second rep up, keeping that mind-muscle connection throughout the entire time. Tip number four, plyometric push-ups. So this is a great technique to help you increase your next lift at the gym when using weights. So when you're going into a normal push-up position, I want you to go all the way down to the ground and then explode. So you're gonna shoot yourself up, catch yourself, and then go all the way back down. Shoot yourself up, back down. Shoot yourself up, back down. This movement is great as building explosive twitch muscles, building strength, and power at the same exact time. So when you're using any other of the equipment or weights at the gym, you have that little second when you're stuck. For example, when you're using the bench, a lot of times when you're hitting those reps, 
you hit those little spots where you can't push anymore. This is when this tip kicks in because now you're able to a lot of times we don't realize where that power is coming from. It's coming from exercises like this. A lot of athletes build those twitch muscles. That's why they're so explosive. That's why they're able to get those little outbursts. This is a great way of helping you for your next lift. So guys, try it out. Tip number five, weighted push-ups. I got a weighted plate. You're gonna put it in a book bag, just like this. And then you're gonna go down and just do normal regular push-ups. Up, up. Guys, keep in mind, when utilizing this movement, you want to go at a nice slow pace. When you're building muscle and you're really trying to put on some size, it's all about that time under tension. Every rep needs to be beneficial from taking your fitness to the next level. So putting the weight inside the book bag is giving you the same movement of being under a bench press. That's how you're going to build a nice solid chest by incorporating different variations to keep your body constantly guessing. So using this is going to put on nice solid size. All right, guys, that goes my video. Hope you enjoyed. So there's no more excuses why you can't make gains. There's hundred and different variations, techniques, and exercises that can help you build muscle without having to go to the gym. So in this video, what I want you to do for every one of these five tips, I want you to incorporate into your next push-up routine. I want you to focus and contract for every single rep. Don't just focus on hitting the reps and trying to get the exercise done. It's not about that. It's about that time under tension, especially because you can't go to the gym and push some real heavy weight. That's how you're going to incorporate these certain exercises that help you build those muscles. So guys, before we end this video, don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know how this video goes or what other future exercises you want me to focus on. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button so you know my next video comes out. It's your boy Reggie B. Like my video, subscribe to my video so your boy can be back. And if you do that, I'll be real proud of you. Metamorphosis complete.